You're watching Fox 29. This is Good Day Philadelphia. We're going to talk about mortgage rates. Is it possible? Did you see the news yesterday, um, Seanette and Carrie, about mortgage rates? We have a mortgage rate expert in this morning, Vince Inigwe. Uh, he's going to be talking about is it possible to get a 50 year fixed rate for 3.6 percent is that possible where do I sign up how do I get one is it a good idea to do it now we're talking about these new mortgage mortgage rates that they're that are out here they're the lowest they have been in decades now 30 year rates have dropped we were just talking about this I'd heard 4.9 percent but I think it's even lower in some cases lower Wow so let's figure this out because there's a lot of talk going around here now to help us break it all down Vince Ingui with uh, is it Levere's? Levere's. I always screw that up. Levere's Mortgage Looks Corporation. Looks like it would be like Louvier. Louvier. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that would be the French pronunciation. Vince, yeah. thank you for being mm -hmm. here. Grazie, oui, oui. Uh, oui, oui. <laughs> now, see, I'm old. And Chanel, let me well, tell you a story. Yeah, back in 1917. <laughs> no, back in the 80s, in the Reagan administration, <laughs> uh -huh. mortgage rates, what do you think they were? I'm going to say 11.1. 18%. No. It got as high as 18. <laughs> no. We never thought it was going to be down in single digits. Oh. And then I remember back a few years ago, seven and a half. It's as low as you'll ever it's go. Oh, 10. Mm -hmm. Where are they now? You are old. I think Chanel and I were mm -hmm. probably all right. in pre-K. Pre-K <laughs> when that segment's over. Uh. Anyway, they are at all-time lows. And I've been saying this wow. for a while. And I, you know, I, a few months ago, I said I thought they'll never get any lower. Yeah, I was just about to say, Here we, we keep are. thinking it's not going to get any lower. Here we are, and it's a half a point lower again. So right now, 30-year fixed rates, depending on your credit and all that fun stuff, we can talk about how to get qualified, um, are about 4.2, 4.3%. The 15-year rate is below 4. I mean, 3.75, 3.875 right now on a 15-year fix. It's just unbelievably cheap to get money. So let's say I have a rate now that's maybe 5.5. Mm -hmm. What's the standard? If you can go a point lower, you should do it? Not necessarily. It depends on your loan amount size okay. because mm -hmm. one point on a million dollar loan is a lot of money versus one point on a hundred thousand dollar loan, for example. So the, the easy calculation, what we always tell our clients is figure out what it's going to cost you. So it's going to cost you five thousand dollars to refinance, right? Mm -hmm. If you're saving five hundred dollars a month, keep the math easy. You're on, your more, on your payment? On your payment. You're basically recouping your closing costs in that scenario in ten right. months, right? Yeah. If you're saving two hundred dollars a month, yeah. with that, then it's going to take you twenty-five months. So it's you have to kind of figure out how long you're going to hold the mortgage, how much you saving that's the easy calculation. But did I read this alert right yesterday that came over the wires that said the 15 year fixed the rate may go down to 3.6? Sure yeah you could probably get 3.6 today with a little bit extra up front maybe with like a point or something like that on so the front end. you could end. save money mm -hmm. by doing the 15. <clears throat> sure I was just talking to uh, Michael um, here on, on your staff he's got a you know high five percent um, he may be able to get down to a 15-year fix wow. save himself eight years on his term eight years you know with keeping the payment just about the same can I hit you with what Steve Keeley told me this morning that I almost passed out uh, he had a 15 year fix mm -hmm. at five percent mm -hmm. so he goes and refinances mm -hmm. and it ended up at 3.1 all right well take a few weeks to do the closing and all at closing he shows up he says, look at this they floated him down to 2.99%. Now, that's with ING Direct. Sure. Something called Easy Orange. Mm -hmm. You've heard of this? Yeah, matter of fact, we use ING. Uh, we have a wholesale relationship with ING, so we use them. That's an ARM product that Steve got. What is an ARM? With. ARM is an adjustable rate mortgage. So, in other words, that 2.99 is either going to be fixed for three years, five years, or seven years. My guess is probably it's going to be five years. You said five. He's going to pay it off in five years. Yeah, <laughs> on, on Steve's deal. So that's an unbelievably low rate. Okay, you know? so we hear all of these great <laughs> stories. Uh, do you have to have the best credit score on uh, the Not planet? necessarily, no. The biggest thing that we find as far as people having issues with getting approved is the appraisal value. You know, do you have enough equity to qualify, in particular, uh, oh. to qualify for a rate you know as low as what Steve has. Now, there are a couple programs we can probably have a whole segment about this, but I'll touch on them quickly. That are through the government. It's called the HARP program, which essentially is saying that if your existing loan at one point was financed under Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac guidelines, and that's about 60% of the mortgages that are out there, you can still refinance even if you have little to no equity into a new mortgage with interest rates being about as low as they are right now. You can actually go on to Fannie Mae's website or Freddie Mac's website, type in your address and the last four digits of your social, and it'll tell you whether or not you have a Fannie or Freddie Mac loan. A lot of people don't even know about this. No. So is that right? They know so little about it, they don't even know which, which yeah. one I they believe have. it. Yeah. Good to see you. Come back Good next stuff. week and maybe we'll break it down a little, I'll a little be back. better that for sounds everybody. Great. Yep. But in simple terms, okay?